everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you had a good weekend. I hope that you've enjoyed, you know, uh, what is this, Labor Day weekend? Or it was last Labor Day weekend. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed your long weekend. I hope you had enough to drink and you had enough love and you had enough friends. Today, I thought I would share with you some of the things that I've been picking up in my whole kind of mommy makeover um, efforts. I don't know that I've ever talked about it on this channel yet, but um, I've decided that I, I want to revamp my wardrobe. I want to add some pieces. Um, I've done some kind of hardcore, um, very intense closet cleaning. I've gotten rid of a lot of pieces that I don't know why I was holding on to them. I didn't like them. I had worn them in a year or so, even before I got pregnant. And I just was not happy. So I've been on kind of a, I don't want to say a spending spree, but I've been looking, investigating, purchasing, investing. So if you're interested in seeing what I have picked up over the past couple of weeks in my mommy makeover, then just keep watching. All right, welcome back. We are going to start with um, some of the places that I've been shopping with, you know, go through some things, some things I've worn already, um, and I'll point those out. So let's get started. Uh, the first place I actually went to, or one of the first places, was Fabletics. If you shop at Just Fab, then you know that... Um, Fabletics is Kate Hudson's kind of like athletic line. You can get whole outfits for, um, I want to say like 40 or $50. And when I say whole outfits, I mean like three pieces, pants, a shirt, and a jacket. So I picked up, um, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> so I actually picked up, um, a little outfit to kind of work out in. Um, I was walking pretty regularly before in my early part of the pregnancy and then when I was put on bed rest I couldn't walk like I was before um, no like extra exercise or anything like that and now that I'm no longer pregnant I want to get back into walking and exercising and kind of like lifting weights and you know kind of toning that up so um, I picked up this shirt it's a little black um, racer back tank top and the cool part is is that on the side it has these kind of like <laughs> little cutouts. So um, I picked this up and then I picked up a pair of leggings to walk in. I don't think these have anything, no, there's no like cool design. They're just some basic black leggings. And so, um, yeah, I picked this outfit up. I plan on walking. I do have a gym membership. I have a, color, a, a couple of other outfits that I plan on working out in. So this just kind of like rounded it out because I can wear black with anything. So I picked this up, like I said, at Fabletics. And so the next thing that I went, or the next place that I went to was actually um, H&M. And um, as a matter of fact, this top right here is from H&M. I wanted to do a little mock turtleneck kind of thing. Um, I want to be able to layer it underneath like sweaters, especially v-neck sweaters and um, cardigans and things like that. I get cold quite easily and so winter's coming, fall's coming and then winter. So I wanted something I could layer. So I picked this up, tried it on, loved it. <laughs> so I had to go back and um, get another one and I got it in black. Um, same size and everything so it's just a little black kind of like mock turtleneck and then on that same shopping trip or the shopping trip where I actually got this at I got um I got this green kind of blouse well not kind of I got this green blouse again I loved it I wore it um it was nice and loose but not so loose that it looked you know um unattractive so I picked this up and then Again, I went back and I got it in like this kind of blush pink color. Um, to be honest, I'm not all that much of a pink person, but I saw this and I tried it on and it looks, you know, it looks good. So I was happy with it. Um, so I got those two and then I also picked up a pair of leggings because, you know, leggings are easy. And this one actually does have kind of a design on it. And so, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but on the thigh, it has, like, little ribs. So, I picked that up, and then...
Hmm. I don't know where it's gone. I'll find it. But I picked up a short kind of like stretchy um, pencil skirt to go with this. And that's interesting. I'm not sure where it's at. But it was just a kind of basic black skirt. Again, I wore it. It was uber comfortable. Very happy. And I was going to go back and buy another one. And then I realized that it only came in black. So I didn't really need more than one black stretchy skirt. So I decided we'll just keep with the one. All right. So the next place that I went shopping at was, um, well, actually I was with my mom and we were at Macy's <laughs> and she's going on a cruise. So she was buying some stuff. So she was like, you know, she picked, she was like, go get something, found something on clearance. Basically it was all right, this, all right, all right. Sorry about that. Um, it was this nightgown. And so, again, you know, I'm kind of like, you know, going through this phase where, I don't know, I guess I want pretty things and I want them to be comfortable at the same time. I don't know if it's a mom thing or it's just a growing up thing. But um, so we picked up this cute little simple nightgown, um, some nice easy colors. It's something that I can get up and go get a bottle in the apartment and don't have to worry about you know, exposing myself, I guess. So this is a cute, you know, simple little nightgown. Got it at Macy's, it was on clearance. So that's always a good thing. Um, I also, hang on, give me just a minute. Let's put you on vibrate. Okay, so I was also in the market for like new bras and underwear. Um, I'm a little bit bigger in the chest area than I used to be before I got pregnant. And so I went to Victoria's Secrets. I got measured. The nice lady there, I told her, you know, I'd just given birth. And so she was like, you don't necessarily want to invest in too many new bras because your body's still changing. She, you know, gave me her story that she was also kind of a new mother. And, you know, there's a possibility that my breasts may go back to the size that they wore. They may get a little bit bigger. We're not sure. So she's like, don't invest too much in, you know, a lot of new bras until you're a little bit further postpartum than you are now because I think I'm only like 10 or 11 weeks. So I was like, okay, that's fine. So I found some bras that were like two for 49 and this was one of them. Um, the other one I've worn. So this, I thought this was cute. It has these little like straps. So that way if you wear like a low cut dress or like a low cut shirt and you see these pieces, it's kind of like on purpose. Um, I feel looking at this I feel like I'm huge this bra is padded and it does give me lift because the girls are even less perky than they used to be so um, it looks like I'm in like a 38d I think it was like a 36c before I gave birth um, or before I was even, like, even get pregnant so um, I have like two new bras and while I was there I also got some new underwear that's not really all that important um, but I did get some new underwear just to kind of spruce up like the undergarment wardrobe because I like I said I was feeling kind of drab I guess you know you just gave birth and you want to feel pretty not that you didn't feel pretty when you're pregnant but you want to feel pretty again so the next place that I went to was Chico's <laughs> and I know some people I don't know they have a weird idea of what Chico's is but they have some really nice stuff I would say that it's um, I guess mature I mean it's not old lady but um, there's some nice stuff there, nice pants and shirts and everything. And so I saw this dress. Um, I originally saw it in blue and it's it was a gorgeous, like kind of cobalt blue. It was fabulous. And it had this brown belt and I tried it on and I tried it on in the wrong size, but it still looked good. So I was like, okay, I really want this, but they didn't have it in my size. I didn't really feel like ordering it. So she was like, the clerk was like, um, I have it in black let's check it out and it's also on sale and then there was another shell on top of that so I was like yes yes so I like I said I picked up the dress it's a nice kind of um it's not quite long sleeve it's like a little bit longer than three quarters and then this does kind of go off the shoulder like right here so I would need to find either a really pretty bra like maybe the black one maybe not or um I need like a strapless or something like that to go with this but this is you know a nice it's kind of casual but you can dress it up with different accessories I can wear this to class. I'm, you know, not like totally freaked out if my daughter spits up on it, which she has tendency to do. So but this is a nice dress, long. It's even on me and I'm like five, 
five seven and a half, almost five eight. This hits me at the ankles, so this is a pretty decently long dress. So the next place that I went to that I probably bought the second most stuff is Target. So the first thing I bought at Target, again, the undergarment game was just really not working for me. So I ended up getting, um, and they're on clearance, is this like little pajama set. And I tend to go up in size in my pajamas because I want them to be nice and roomy. I don't want them to be tight while I'm sleeping. What's the point? You're not comfortable. So I got this little two-piece set. So it's some shorts. And then um, it was a top, a nice little kind of like tank top um, with a little bit of lace. It's a fun color. Again, this is something I can, you know, get out of bed and go get a bottle from the kitchen uh, for my daughter and not have to worry about, you know, anything being exposed in the house or something like that. So the next thing I picked up was this really like kind of simple and basic but there's still something to it white t-shirt it's not really a t-shirt because the fabric is like this kind of nice and soft um slinky material um but it's you know nice and it's kind of like got the high low so it's short in the front and then long in the back i have worn it it's great over leggings maybe skinny jeans um i think i've worn it with that black skirt that i was talking about that i got from h m it's just something simple and easy that you can throw on and go. Um, I don't know how dressed up I would be able to make this, but this is a good piece to, that I added to my wardrobe. So the next thing that I got from Target was, or is, this um, kind of like plaid green and black and white um, flannel dress. I had to think of the word for it. Um, so it's kind of based on like the flannel shirts. And I saw this and I thought this would be a cute addition to my wardrobe. Something, you know, to kind of button up and put on over some tights, some boots, some booties, you know, maybe even flats, anything like that. The only thing about this is the fabric does not have a lot of stretch. And I should have tried it on at Target, but I was just like, no, it'll be fine. So I got it home and I tried it on and I was, it was okay, but it wasn't the best. So I'm going to have to take this one back and hopefully in the same color get one size up. Because my fear is it doesn't fit right now. Not really. And then if I wash it, I'm not sure the fabric, you know, tends to shrink a little bit. So I'll be in even worse shape than I was <laughs> before I washed it. So I'm just going to go back and go up one size in this. But um, I felt that this was, you know, a nice little dress, something good for school, you know, go shopping in or whatever with my daughter and the boyfriend. Um, like I said, throwing on over some tights and some booties. And this is a good, like, kind of addition to the fall wardrobe. So we picked that up at Target. Uh, what else did I get from Target? I also got some, I also got some shirts. These are really kind of basic shirts. Uh, I do have some black and white shirts already, but they're kind of old and I wanted something new to kind of update the wardrobe, but nothing crazy expensive. So a simple little black crew neck t-shirt, uh, easy to put on with some jeans, um, leggings underneath the cardigan, easy enough to layer. And then I also got it in a fun, <laughs> I got it in a fun print and this is the kind of like black and white leopard print. Again. Throwing on with some jeans, high-waisted, anything like that. And these are, again, this is a fun pattern. Something easy to dress up the wardrobe with. Spice up an outfit that otherwise would be kind of basic. And then, on the basic note, a white t-shirt. I had one um, from Old Navy and I was never really a fan of it. I bought it and then I wore it like twice and it just kind of stayed in the bottom of the closet. I got rid of it and I got this instead. I like the v-neck, something easy and light. Again, it's a lightweight fabric. Kind of throw it on and go. So the last place that I went to, talking about Old Navy, was Old Navy. And uh, I wasn't really impressed with anything that they had online. You know, the shirts, the dresses, nothing was really catching my eye. But I do know that I have really good luck buying jeans from them when I was larger. I've had good luck buying jeans and now that you know I'm smaller and post-pregnancy, again, I still have really good luck with jeans. So I ended up getting three pairs of jeans, two skinny leg and one boot cut. And so this is the skinny leg. 
and it's the, I think they call it the mid-rise curvy skinny leg. I'll link it down below. But um, I have worn these. I do like them. I went up a size. I just gave birth. Because <laughs> I thought, oh, you know, I, I'm going to need the room. And so I, I tried them on and I wore them. And what I forgot about Old Navy jeans, which is why I like them, is that they have stretch to them. And so I normally wear 12. I went up to a 14. Forgot about the stretch. Bought them. Wore them. And I was like, holy crap, these are really big. <laughs> And I was like, even when I wash them, it's not going to shrink that much. And then as you wear them, they stretch out. I'm going to keep them at a 14 for those days where you're feeling bloated or, you know, you just don't really feel like bothering. But I may end up having to go back and getting the same jeans in a 12 <laughs> or maybe some different jeans. But like I said, they fit really well. They fit nice. They're, they're roomy. I would probably just go back and get a 12 in these. So this was, I think, the rinse color. Again, skinny leg. And I also get my pants, I get my jeans tall. I don't do regular because I like my jeans to hit the floor. It's weird. Some people don't like it. They don't like the dragging. I don't mind it. I just find that I like my pants to kind of scrunch up around the ankle because they're too long. And I can't get that in regular. So those are the skinny. I believe these are the bootleg. And these again are in the 14 and yeah these are the curvy mid-rise but I think these are bootleg they're in this nice dark wash color again good for fall coming up um, with the boot cut I did order some booties from just fab I was waiting to do this video until they came in whatever I want to wear these clothes so these would be good with some um, booties some boots and they're going to be good for school, good for fall, and hopefully they'll last me into next next year so that I don't necessarily have to get more, more pants. And then the last pair of jeans is the same fit and style as the first pair. So these are another dark wash, and these are mid-rise, and they're skinny. And again, they're the tall, and so a nice kind of dark wash to maybe transition into nighttime, dress up an outfit, wear one of the, sh the shirts I got from Target, or something like that. So, I do think that that's it. Yeah, we're, all right, we're pretty much done with my haul and all the clothes that I bought. I'll probably get a couple more pieces to round it out. I feel like I need some more dresses and definitely need like maybe one or two more pairs of pants so we may have another haul video coming up but other than that we are done I want to say thank you for watching my video I hope you enjoyed you know seeing what I've been buying uh, if you have any comments or suggestions leave them down below and I will get back to you you know as soon as I can on the comments 